Hi, it's Rick from The Pilot Teacher and today I am moving crews into a camp. Um, I've been slinging in their gear, I've been moving them in with the gasoline, propane, fridges, toilet seats, kitchen sink, literally everything has been moved into camp so these guys can work out here doing exploration for the next month. This is a rustic camp and it's literally as basic as you can get but this is what they're here for, they're out here for a month and uh, my job was to, uh, to get them in and get all their gear in. So there's one of the fridges, unfortunately that fridge is too wide, let's go through the door to the cookhouse, so the cook is not happy.
Well, like everything in aviation, uh, we're on plan number F, or plan letter F, I should say. Um, you can see the guys behind me just here. Uh, their colleagues who were supposed to arrive today, there was another four guys or girls showing up with all their gear that I was going to move into camp. But their truck has broken down about 300 miles away, so kind of a big scramble towards the end of the day. These guys have now got to go and drive the 300 miles to go and rescue their other crew. We've had one of the other guys who's uh, the technical guy and he couldn't get the internet working over the satellite phone so he's had to drive 200 miles in the opposite direction into the city to try and get his communications up and running because without it all the data that they collect uh, they can't send in so their trip is basically put on hold and uh, I get to go and spend another night in a really nice fishing and hunting resort so yeah it's not too bad at all so the other good bonus is that um, usually early in the mornings is when uh, most crews like to start but because these guys have got to drive back in the morning I'm not starting until about 11, 11 to 30. Uh, it's about a 30 minute flight from the resort to the staging area where we are now and uh, yeah so I get to stay in a nice resort tonight and I get us to have a sleep in too so bonus. So yeah this is the staging area that we're at today. Um, it's just a gravel pit that's in the middle of nowhere um, but it's big enough for them to unload all their stuff for us to put it in nets and load up the helicopter and between flying it in in the helicopter which is faster than it is in slinging um, and then there's the big stuff that I couldn't, we couldn't fit inside the helicopter that's now been slung in using nets um, so yeah so the plan was to get it all done today, nine people and all their gear and all the kitchen and the toilet seat. Um, but yeah, we only got two thirds of it in. So tomorrow we're gonna to come back, meet these guys here at noon and uh, sling in the rest of the gear so the guys can go off and do what they came here to do. So that's the day in the life of a job pilot. It's a little windy, but uh, this is the place that I get to stay tonight. nice place eh? Uh, they've got three helipads here in this resort because they do a lot of uh, guided heli fishing. So basically people come and stay and their guide and their pilot will basically take them out into places that are really difficult to get to by foot and uh, they go hunting and fishing for the day and at the end of the day about two weeks since I dropped everybody off at the camp and we've had a phone call because they are running out of gasoline too quick for their generators so I could have been slinging two drums although it would be nice if they'd have actually got the drums out of the trailer and put them out on the ground so I don't have to do it but I guess I know what I'm spending the next 10 minutes doing well, I'm all ready to go. Got the barrel in the sling. Long line is all on. All ready to go. So, usual typical weather. The second you get outside to do some work, it starts raining. So, one tip, if you want to be working out in the field, out in the bush, whether you're a rotary pilot or a fixed wing pilot, go get yourself a full set of waterproofs and a pair of rubber boots 
and keep them in the aircraft at all times because you get wet at the start of the day, it's a long, cold, miserable day. A set of waterproofs, 100 bucks. One of the best investments you'll make if you want to be working out in the field. Right, time to go sling this and uh, I'm sure I'll get a nice welcome because their generator goes flat because of no gas, their fridges are going to stop and the one thing you do not want in camp is no food. So, see you next time. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, cool. Glad you liked it. Uh, if you want to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and notification bell, I really appreciate it. It really helps this channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.